Hey guys, another quick video about uh, kind of like more questions that you can ask the business owner if you want to have another call to build more up or, or if you just want to have those questions during the first call or uh, via email, just like any way that you want to basically get more information about the business. Now, some of it you will need, some of it you won't. I just want to show you a few things that I'm doing in case I need more information and how I do it. You can use it, um, you can skip it, whatever works for you. Now, just to give you um, yeah, a brief overview on what we've been so far in the kind of like the negotiation and closing phase. So we want to have a first call with the business owner where we build rapport, add some value, tell them what we can do. At the end of it, we want to uh, offer to sign an NDA. And at the same time, we want to ask for more information about the business, right? So financial stuff like that. Now, the way it works is I usually send those things uh, via email, but many times, um, Companies don't send you everything back and sometimes it's too much just like back and forth between you um, So I don't like to wait too much. That's where I just schedule another call to build more rapport to ask those questions just um, on the call directly versus waiting for it and Those are the kind of things that I'm asking during the call So I'm gonna attach those two files below the video and I'm, I'm just gonna walk quickly through it so the first file on the right side is the basic information request that's where you can talk about. So, so again, usually I send this uh, in the email. The left one, the 20 more qualifier questions, I don't send in the email. And the way it works is that the right one, I just send it in the email anyway. The left one, I just ask if I have another call. So yeah, a few of the things that we ask in the basic information are just like basic things like the ownership structure. Um, if you want to learn more about if they have subsidiaries, all the companies, again, you don't have to use everything. Just like see example of what I'm asking for and just use it for, for yourself and whatever works for you, right? So um, this is important for you, for everyone, list of all directors and shareholders. You want to know who's the owner. You want to know who's the decision maker uh, structure because you want to make sure you talk to them um, at least once. And when you're going to close the deal, you want to make sure you talk to the person who can actually make decisions, right? Just pretty straightforward. Who wants to say or go? Maybe... Um, so again, this is kind of like for more my merger stuff. So sometimes when you buy a company or when you merge companies, uh, employees no employees or key staff want to leave. So again, you can use it or not. What is the reason, motivation for you to sell? Um, um, if money to grow the business, what do you want that money for? Um, again, you can just change the question and say, hey, if you had all the money in the world, what would you do with it? Or just like, uh, again, do whatever works for you guys, whatever you need, whatever information you need in order to um, learn more about the business. Describe key posi positives in the business. I guess that's good for everyone. Describe challenges. I guess it's good for everyone. Last three years filed or uh, statutory accounts. Uh, that's good for everyone. So if you want to get equity deals, so you want to get the financials. Last financial year monthly management accounts. Again, all those accounts are, are really good for you to have. Um, I'm going to show you in a future module, how to hire uh, accountants and lawyers to help you look at these numbers and at those numbers and basically you work for you for free in order to close those deals um, in case you don't know anything about financials. So that's okay as well. You can just give your accountants and lawyers and pay them using the business money. Um, that's what I'm doing right now and I'll show you how I do it. It's pretty straightforward and, 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 and easy. Um, you just need to go out there and do it. Um, if you know about financials, then it's even better. You can just basically uh, save that money. But either way, it's not your money, so nothing to lose. So yeah, more about financials, current balance sheet, list of current mortgages, charges, uh, debentures, uh, personal guarantees are, I guess, here's the thing with personal guarantees, and I'm going to talk about it in the future, um, in the next module about contracts and stuff like that. But basically, you need to understand, guys, as long as you are getting into a business and you're not signing personal guarantees, you don't have anything to lose. As long as you're not signing anything, don't worry about it. Don't be afraid to get equity in businesses because even if the business um, fails tomorrow, uh, it's all good. Uh, especially so if it's an LLC and all that stuff, right? So don't try things on your personal um don't, don't sign on any guarantee. That's that's the biggest tip I can give you. Go and um, talk to your uh, lawyers. That's a, another thing because I can't give legal advice. It's just illegal for me to even do that. So, um, yeah, next question. List main ways to attract new clients to the business. Really good for you to know as well, especially if you're helping with uh, sales, marketing, um, and business growth. Summary of any debt. 
Um, this is all the stuff, current employees, um, if you care about a uh, list of top 20 customers, a uh, list of top 20 products, services, and describe key positives in the business. And again, all those things, and there's a little bit more, uh, if you had a magic wand, what solution you'd want for the business, which is awesome question as well. Um, you can literally know just by asking this what kind of services you can offer them in return for equity. Um, so definitely get as many as services as you can for that. Um, if you need more, and again, those kind of questions, you can literally, if you don't want to send it to them, you can just tell them, hey, let's sign the NDA and have another call. Um, more than possible. Um, either way, you need to tell them that you need the financials, like all the current balance sheet, last few years of uh, uh, monthly management accounts, all those stuff. So you need that, but you can ask the other stuff um, on the call just to build more rapport. Uh, that's good too. It just shows that you know what you're talking about. On the left side now, um, you can ask about their net sales, um, how many years have been in business. You can ask more about the market. Um, again, more about financials. Do Does it sell some um, something customers need and already know they need? That's something, obviously, you can understand just by hearing him and talking about the business and just like asking him questions about it. Is there a high upside? Um, is the business currently running at a low percentage of capacity? Uh, ideally, 30, uh, less than 30%. Um, so yeah, check all those things. Again, you don't have to ask those things if they're not relevant. At the same time, asking those things wouldn't hurt you. Just like literally all those questions, guys, they're so key. And uh, just look at those questions. They're literally position you as the expert. So um, yeah, awesome. Um, I don't want to waste too much of your time going through all those questions, but just go through them, guys. Um, pretty straightforward. Whatever makes sense for you, whatever is relevant for you, just use it. Uh, and if it's not, just skip it and move to the closing um, script. Again, you can have separate calls. You can have everything in the same call. Um, up to you. I like to separate things as much as possible just to build more up or get to know each other more. Um, and again, for me, it's more for me to screen if I even want to work with them and see if we vibe together. Because if that person is going to be my partner, I want to know as much as possible about him. And um, I just want to understand if that's someone I can trust um, as soon as possible. And the more opportunities I have to talk with him, um, the more I can learn about it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Um, go to the next video on how to close their sale and get equity and shares and management fees and all that good stuff. Um, we get into it, guys. We're so close. Uh, go and do those things. Learn. Check it out. Look at the script. Um, read that list again and again if needed. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions. And I'm looking forward to um, show you how we, we close those deals in the next video.